I want to show an example. I was in McDonald's meeting my brother for something, and he gave me five bucks to buy our mom something off the menu. My mom is a type 2 diabetic that is in not so great condition because she doesn't take care of herself. And so with five bucks, I was perplexed as to how I was going to get her something that was suitable um, because I know that their salads there, the one that I would get, which was is the grilled chicken salad, which is not great tasting or, or nutritional wise, but it's the healthiest thing on the menu. Um, I knew that it would be too much. So what I ordered her is a side salad, which was a dollar. I got her tea, um, which I put half and half. I put half unsweetened, half sweet. I got her a McChicken sandwich and a fruit and yogurt parfait. Now, aside from the McChicken sandwich, this is something that you can order on at McDonald's that will not kill your diet. I don't like to use the word diet, but it's the most relatable term that I can use for eating healthy at this point. But this is just an example of how, you know, initially you assume that you can't go to fast food restaurants. I know I made that assumption, especially because I was dealing with a lot of cravings for a long time. And until my body learned how to go without giving in to those cravings like that, I stayed away from fast food restaurants and certainly if you have the same issue you want to do the same but there are many many healthy fixes for um, fast food restaurants and so you know you may seem weird for ordering two patties lettuce tomato and and uh, that's it you know, or in a slice of cheese, you know, omitting the bun, excluding the bun. However, if that's what it takes, you order that, you know, or you just get a grilled chicken salad. Most of these places have grilled chicken salad. And you just watch it with the dressing and you can do it. Most of these places have unsweetened tea as well. So there's really no excuse, even when you're out and about. Right? We hear that excuse all the time. Oh, I'm too busy to cook healthy or I don't have time to make healthy snacks or I don't know what to get. And I certainly in the beginning, years ago, would actually cry about this because I would be so hungry and it seemed like even the healthy things on the menu weren't actually healthy and it was very frustrating. I was not aware at the time of how I could alter these foods so that I could eat them. I didn't know that I could just ask for the meats and the, the, the salad. Um, or I could just stick with the soup or something like that. But you can do that. And um, there's a lot of places that you feel are off limits, but they're not. Just re reframe the way you look at the menu and just remove the buns remove the buns remove the fries remove all of the excess carbs you know the shells and the tortillas you take those things away and you have something you can work with you just have to get used to it for me i use lettuce for everything romaine lettuce a regular iceberg lettuce that is my bread in life that is my shell that is my tortilla and that that's my bun it goes a long way and it tastes absolutely the same with a fraction of the consequences so hope you found this video helpful